Hagen from the garden. It's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So today I am in the hoop house and a while ago I did a video for you guys where I did some direct sowing in the hoop house with plans for a late summer harvest to get a second crop out of this area and I have to admit it was a total fail. <laughs> it looks like an absolute disaster in here. Um, not totally, but today I'm out here working and I have got to figure out how I am going to uh, get another harvest out of this hoop house this season. So what I did was in this center aisle, I had planted ranunculus and anemones and I had a really great harvest out of those. But if you grow ranunculus, you know that once the heat starts rising, they die off. They are a cool season crop. So they were done the first part of June. So what I did was I ripped them all out. Um, I added some nice topsoil with compost to the um, top of this bed to amend it. And I came in here with a whole bunch of varieties and direct seeded it. Um, now, I'm pretty sure this was all my fault. I did use some seeds that were quite a few years old, but some of them still should have germinated. Um, I do know that I have some things growing in here but not everything I planted. And I think it was because I didn't lay my uh, soaker hoses when I planted it. So what I did was I came in and I direct seeded short rows across and I hand watered it. Well, then I came back in maybe a week or two later and I laid my soaker hoses, but I laid those lengthwise. I should have laid those first, direct seeded right alongside of the soaker hoses, and I think everything would have germinated fine. So I have a lot of things growing in here. Most of it is weeds. So what I want to do is with the center aisle today in this video, I want to clean everything out that is a weed and is something that I didn't plant. And then I need to figure out what I'm going to plant in here uh, to try to save my season. Uh, not save my season, but maybe save this middle section for a hoop house harvest. Um, then once I do that, I want to show you what's growing on the sides uh, because I do have some really nice Lysianthus back here. I have Dianthus, Campanula, Feverfew, um, Snapdragons I've been harvesting from. So those two sides are still growing, but the center is really, really sad and really, really embarrassing. But you know what? This is real life. So here it is. My garden isn't perfect. Um, so anyway, I'm going to set up the camera. I'm going to bring in my wheelbarrow. We're going to get this cleaned out and then uh, we're going to figure out what to do with the space. Leave comments down below if you are direct sowing anything right now. I'm zoned 5A um, and let us know what you're direct sowing to get harvest from yet this season. All right, here we go. All right, so I got the hoop house all cleaned out. It looks so much better. And I'm going to be turning on my soaker hose and really watering this middle area good today. But first I wanna do some direct seeding and I'll go over that in a minute with you guys. But first, I just wanna walk you through um, the center aisle. There were some of the things that I direct seeded earlier that are coming up. So I wanna show you those. Uh, right here in view, I have some sunflowers growing. These actually are some sunflowers that I started inside and planted out in here in a video just to see how they would grow under this cover. And clearly they are doing really, really well. Um, so sunflowers are one of the things I'm gonna be direct sowing today. But right here in front of me, this is some bunny tails grass and I'm growing this to dry for dried flowers and it's looking pretty good. Grasses, um, they're probably drought tolerant, which is why it is looking so good, but I'm leaving this in here. Um, but let me grab the camera and then I wanna show you the other few things that are coming up that I left. Okay, so here's the bunny tails grass and right next to it, this is something 
I do not think it is a weed. It must be something I direct sowed. There are maybe five or six plants. So I'm leaving those um, just to see what they are, but I am pretty sure those are not weeds. This, I believe, is Saponaria, and I have some nice plants here, some plants over here. Um, this is a feverfew that self-seeded itself. This is a snapdragon that self-seeded itself. And then down the way, uh, these little plants right here are either uh, Ami or Dara. I can tell by the leaves that there's something from the carrot family. So I'm leaving those. And then these, which are wilted right now, but will be fine. These are bachelor buttons, um, blue boy, I think. Then as far as the rest of the hoop house, I still have my corner of fever few here. Honestly, I really need to come cut this back and see if I can get another flush, uh, but that will have to be another day. As you saw here, I decided to completely rip out my purple campanula. This will probably just be empty until I do my fall campanula planting. Uh, but this is the dianthus that's looking really good. And the Lysianthus, I decided not to take the grass out of here because I did one, it ripped out the plant, and now it's completely wilted. So I really want these Lysianthus for blooms, so I'm leaving the grass. They look fine. Um, yeah, I just don't want to hurt them. Then if we circle around, there's the sunflowers again. Same with the snapdragons. As I pulled the grass out, it was ripping the plants out. So just going to leave those and then for now i'm going to leave the white campanula over there uh, because those were taller plants to begin with so maybe i'll be able to get some usable blooms for mini bouquets so for now i'm going to leave that oh i also let me show you in one video i planted some floret seedlings in here and they're looking really good so i'm going to water these and keep these as well all right, so as far as what I am going to be direct seeding today, I went through all of my seeds and I tried to find varieties that matured in around 60 to 70 or so days. Today is, I believe, July 22nd. Our average first frost date is maybe October 10th, 15th, somewhere in there. Um, the big end of season market that I always do is, was actually two months from yesterday. So 60 days till that. Um, so planting sunflowers this week with the heat in here, they may mature early. So I might be able to harvest some sunflowers out of here. Otherwise, I have our farmer's markets that go all the way through the end of September, but last year I was able to sell bouquets all the way through October. So over 60 days, you know, 75 days, 80 days, I could still get some harvest with direct sowing. Um, so here are the things that I'm going to be direct sowing. I picked two kinds of sunflowers. I'm going to do the Pro Cut Horizon and the Pro Cut Red. We'll plug those in, see what I can get. Then I have a couple random packages of the Benry's Giant Mix. I'm going to plug those in, see what I can get. Calendula is a really fast mature, um, 50 to 55 days. And calendula I don't necessarily use for cut flowers, but I would like to dry these flowers and make calendula salve. So that is the purpose of that. I'm going to do the um, flashback mix. Oh, here's another Benry's Giant. Um, this is Benry's Giant Coral. I have a few seeds left. Might as well use them up. Then the Baby's Breath Covet Garden. I do not know the number of days for maturity on this, but for some reason I think that it is a fast grower. So I'm gonna try that. I have some Cress Atrexa, which is a, it says 60 to 90 days maturity, which is pretty broad, but I had two packets of it, so we'll plug that in. And then Love and a Mist Plum and Lime Mix, which is 65 to 85 days. Um, 65 being the flowers, 85 being the pods. So I'll be able to harvest off of this. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna direct sow these around the existing plants and I'm gonna sow them right up next to the soaker hose. Then I'm gonna water everything in. I'm gonna run the ho soaker hose every single day for probably 15 to 30 minutes and I would think with this heat I would see some quick germination so let's go ahead and get these sewn
Okay, so everything is planted. I didn't get much footage of that because my camera overheated yet again. <laughs> I think I almost overheated too. It is really warm in here today, but I took my camera inside and let it cool off. Um, we're back out here. Again, everything is planted and I have been running these soaker hoses for about a half an hour. The ground is getting nice and saturated. I ended up planting everything but the uh, Atrexa Crest. I decided not to do that and the Nigella. I just, when I was getting everything laid out, I kind of decided um, I wanted to do the Pro Cut Red and the Pro Cut, um, I think, Brilliance, which is an orange sunflower. Those were very important to me for focal flowers for that market if I get blooms. Zinnias are highly important to me. Um, I wanted to try that baby's breath and then uh, what else did I plant? I'll put it up on the screen. I can't even remember, but I just kind of decided those were not as important as the others. So, uh, from here on out, I will be running these soaker hoses every single day for at least a half an hour to keep this ground nice and saturated till I see germination for sure. And then I will just judge it from here on out. Um, I am thrilled with this. I think I'm gonna be able to get some blooms by the end of the season. I'm thrilled to be having some Lysianthus pretty soon. We got all the weeds out of here. And uh, I think the end of the season is gonna be really good. I'll probably do a video here soon, kind of as an overview on what I've gotten out of the garden so far, but gosh, I feel like it's been a slow start and I'm gonna to have to adjust some things for next year to get earlier harvest. I know that I keep adding infrastructure and once I have all of that done, all I will have to do in the spring is plant. I don't have to make new planting areas. We aren't gonna be renovating a building, so I know it'll be easier next year. But um, anyway, I just wanted to share a little bit of that with you too and more to come on that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a great summer. Stay tuned for a lot more and we will see you soon.